This is a lesson on estimating products to solve problems. So there are two steps and it's very similar to um, solving, estimating problems uh, when you add or subtract. So first step is to round at least one factor to the nearest 10. Now if both factors are difficult then you could round each of them but it'll just make your answer um, more incorrect I guess from or more different from the real answer so if possible only round one factor and if you have to then round two so remember um, these rounding rules they still apply for this as well so you find the number look right next door five or more raise the score four or less let it rest so we'll practice this down below um, and then step two is just to multiply and then um, since at least one factor is going to be um, a multiple of 10 because of rounding, then don't forget to put the appropriate number of zeros at the end of the product like you learned in the last lesson. So we've got some examples and you're going to have to write these down, um, but I'll do them with you. So we've got uh, the first one that has 48 times 8. So we're going to round um, 48. So we, we find the number, look right next door to the 8. 8 is 5 or more, so we raise the score of the 4 to 5. And this is what I was talking about. Um, we can leave 10, I mean, we can leave 8 as 8 rather than making it 10, because 5 times 8 I can do in my head. That's easy because I can skip count by 5s eight times and I know that's going to be 40 so I can go 5 times 8 is 40 and then I need to remember to add this last zero onto the end so my estimate for 48 times 8 would be 400 that's not the exact answer remember this would be um, higher than the real answer and how I know is because I put this number higher than that number. So if I make my factor higher, then my answer is going to be higher. And your textbook is going to ask you whether your answer is higher or lower, and that's how you can tell. Okay, moving on to number two, we've got six times 240. So, um, I'm going to round this to the nearest hundred. So I'm going to leave six the same. I could, I could change it, but for 240, I find the number which is two. I look right next door, which is a four. It's four or less. So I let this two rest. And so I can leave six the same because uh, six times two is also easy to do in my head. Six times two is 12. And then I have two zeros at the end here. So I put two zeros at the end of my answer. And so this is my estimate. Now if I'm asked if this estimate is high or low, I look at the factors I multiplied by. So six I left the same, but uh, I went down from 240 to 200. So this answer would be lower than the real one. Does that make sense? So, now that you've seen those and you've copied them, um, it's time to do the practice. So you're going to try this, and then I'll go through it with you. So try 36 times 12, and then try this problem of a large jug fills 38 glasses of juice. There are 52 jugs, about how many glasses can be filled. So remember, you're estimating for both of these. So pause the video now, and then we'll go through it at, after. Okay, so now that you've um, gone through and found your answers, let's go through and see if you've got it. So I've got 36 times 12, so I'm going to round both of these numbers because uh, it will be easier that way for me. So first 36 rounds to 40 because the 6 bumps the 3 up, and 12 rounds down to 10 because the 2 lets the 1 rest. So now I've got 40 times 10. 4 times 1 is 4, then I need to put both of these zeros on the end. And that, um, I, the answer that I get is 400. 
Now, if I'm asked if my answer is higher or lower, it might be more difficult because this number I rounded up and this number I rounded down. Now, this one I rounded up more than this one I rounded down, so I would say that this is higher than the real answer. Okay, and then I've got this problem. So a large jug fills 38 glasses of juice. So we've got 38 glasses and there are 52 jugs about how many glasses can be filled. So we're multiplying 38 times 52, but um, it asks about. And anytime we see about, that means that we round. So we've got 38 times 52. Um, First, I'm going to round this, so 38 rounds up to 40 because the 8 bumps the 3 up. And then 52 would round down to 50. And there I've got my easy numbers now, so 4 times 5 is 20. And then I've got a 0 here, and I've got a 0 here, so I need to put two zeros on the end. And there's my answer, would be 2,000. Um, and then I would write my sentence, which would be about 2,000 glasses. Can be filled. So, it's a little messy, but, um, so there's my sentence to answer because it's a problem. Don't forget those. And then if I'm asked if my answer is higher or lower, well, for this number here, I went too higher than the real number, and this one I went too lower. So, um, you don't know if it would be higher or lower, but a small tip is that 2,000 should be the actual answer. Let's just check on the calculator. If I went 38 times 52, it should equal 2,000, but it doesn't. Hang on. 38 times 52, yeah, never mind, uh, this actually was crazy. So I've got 1,976 would be my answer, so it's actually higher than the real answer. But you couldn't tell without doing a calculator. So this would be the answer. Okay, so your assignment then is... Uh, 86, page 86 to 87, numbers 2 to 6, and uh, 8 and 9, that should say.